everyone and welcome to the 62nd episode of the Brave News Channel. I am your host Shali and we're here with the amazing Risky. Say hello Risky. Hello everyone. Wow. And today is a really super special episode yeah. of VNC, which is the show that brings you all of the latest information for your favorite application, Brave Frontier Global. Mm -hmm. Available to you guys on iOS, Android, Amazon devices, and Windows as well. I can never leave that part out in case, you know, we have first time viewers and you haven't downloaded the app yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but back to what I was saying. Um, Today is a very special episode because we are celebrating the seventh anniversary of Brave Frontier Global. Ooh, wow! Seven, seven years. Man. <laughs> Can you believe that, Risky? How does it feel to make it to you know, such a high mark? Well, I think it's really a accomplishment uh, to to for for us and not just. To us, and I think it's a big applause to the to the to the players as well for those who play since the first day in 2013, yes. November. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was like uh, really, really, uh, you know, some something. I guess something that is very uncommon for a mobile game. There are very little mobile right. game that has reached this uh, milestone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, applause to everyone, <laughs> and thank you for the players yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> agreed, agreed. Yep. Um, Brave Frontier it was the first project that I was ever assigned to uh -huh. after joining <laughs> Gumi. So Brave Frontier is, is my baby, basically. And I've been attached to this project for more than six years mm -hmm. now. So, you know, a good portion of the time. Um, you know, not the whole seven years, unfortunately, but I've been here for most of it. And it's, it's mm -hmm. been a privilege and an, and an honor to participate uh, in this project and bring our summoners such a fun um, and, you know, unique experience. Yeah. I am just really, really proud of what the whole team has accomplished. And I am ever so grateful to everybody who plays this game and you guys, you know, watching out there. Thank you so much for loving Brave Frontier as much or even more than, mm -hmm. than we do. Although, you know, I let's not fight about who loves Brave Frontier more <laughs> than each other. I don't think that's a fair play. Okay, well, let's move on to you know, what we can expect to the anniversary because I'm mm -hmm. sure everybody wants to know, Risky. All right. So um, I guess before that, we want to share with you guys that mm -hmm. uh, because of this, uh, because of your support and we can hit this milestone, uh, we would like to show our gratitude to all players mm -hmm. by having the mystery gift based on how mm -hmm. many summoners watch this episode of BNC. So I guess more detail about this on like how what are the rewards um, are going to be uh, updated uh, later on uh, when the video is released and uh, through the official channel like Facebook and in-game in -game, uh, news. Uh, but as you guys can see, you can already see uh, something glittering there. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so we're going to be getting gems. Uh -huh. I don't think it's that much of a mystery. But I did ask the team, Rizky, mm -hmm. um, if it was okay to share with everyone okay. the details of how we can get these fabulous rewards because yep, yep. they are um, excellent reward. Mm -hmm. So actually, I'm, I'm going to be faster than the news this time around and I'm <laughs> going to tell you guys exactly what you need to do. Right. So we, we're going to get one gem per every thousand views that we get on this particular episode of the Brave News channel. And this is going to count up to 4,000 views. So that's four gems, right? Mm -hmm. At 5,000 views, if we hit 5K, we're going to get one free summon ticket. And then after that, if we manage to hit 7,000 views, we are going to get an additional three gems for a total of seven gems and one summon ticket. So, so the goal to reach here is at least 7,000 views. Mm -hmm. um, so tell your friends, tell your family, tell your grandma, tell your dog <laughs> to watch, you know, your cat, whatever, yeah. whomever, mm -hmm. um, to watch this video so that we can get these uh, fabulous rewards. And thanks for always just hanging out with us yep. at the Brave News channel. We have a lot of fun here. Uh, getting you guys the news. Um, excited to see what else is on the anniversary list. Let, right. Let's go to the next thing, Risky. All right. So uh, I think the next thing will be uh, a one a very good reason for us to actually watch this video, which is a mm -hmm. very this very beautiful wallpaper mm -hmm. of our bestest goddess, best <laughs> Tilly, girl, best girl, Tilly. Best girl, Tilly. On the beach, oh, you know, some of us wanted to go to the to the beach for a while but <laughs> a while a while Only seven years right? seven years, Only yes, seven seven years, years. of waiting to go to the beach mm. with tillith and and it looks like she made it i don't know where the summoner is at maybe um 
they're in the water playing, but um, yeah. Tilith looks so relieved to have finally made it. And look at those slimes, oh my goodness. <laughs> they are so, so cute. I, I want the plushies. I, <laughs> that would be great. That would be a great idea. I don't know why we don't have any Brave Frontier merch. I wish. I really wish we did. I, I would buy all of it. Let's shout out. Maybe honest. we can shout out to Aileem so that, you know. <laughs> who Aileem, make more stuff! <laughs> well, but um, and that aside, I guess, uh, you know, recently there, is, there has been some announcement about the uh, Brave Frontier X, if I'm not wrong. On the uh, Japan yeah. side, yeah. X code, I believe. Yeah, BFX or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, well, there are still a lot of things to see there, but um, I would say, I guess the memory of Brave Frontier will, will last for a while. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Brave Frontier yeah. is, is just kind of like an enduring thing. We've, uh -huh. we've been at this for more than seven years because, you know, the Japanese version is even older and mm -hmm. Japanese has been. Uh, Japanese version has BF2 as well, yeah. and now this um, new upcoming thing that I actually have no details about. I don't. I'm not yeah, sure what us. it even is. Um, but the the love that this team has for Brave Frontier is obviously very palpable. Like mm -hmm. we don't just want to let it go. Like it, it, we want to make it stay and and make it keep the brand going, keep the story going, keep the uh, summoners going as well. Um, but I think, you know, this, this beautiful wallpaper here that we are going to be giving out in celebration of the mm -hmm. anniversary um, just kind of represents that we, we've all been in this journey together and, yeah. and the goal, we kind of got to the goal together yeah. as, as well. Because the goal was to get to the beach with Tilith and then yep. here we are in the beach with her finally. So, you know, a, a sense of relief, yeah. definitely. Yeah, that's, and, and her face is like, it sounds of like, you know, like relief and happy kind of exactly. feeling yeah, finally oh well <laughs> that's that's going to be interesting so uh, i guess mm -hmm. uh look forward for the uh wall, wallpaper in uh, our official yep. channel facebook um mm -hmm. and then moving to the next uh, uh updates regarding the seventh anniversary we'll uh, mm -hmm. we'll be having the login campaign of course. so there there will be like uh, a lot of exciting uh, rewards as well for the login uh, for a login campaign like uh, hero selector uh, tickets, uh, summon tickets, mm -hmm. uh, tomes, frogs, and many more. So uh, do look forward for the announcement on the Facebook and official channel. Uh, the next slide will be a special 7th anniversary bazaar, uh, where we can acquire 7th anniversary tokens from the daily login campaign and ex exchange it in the bazaar itself. There it will be a materials to craft Omni Star Sphere. Uh, that's a very mm -hmm. nice uh, sphere that shows that your dedication in the game for mm -hmm. seven years. <laughs> um, of course, the Rex Mystery Frog, which has been asked by a lot of people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, then uh, there will be an item refresh for every week during the anniversary itself, which is the usual supplies for uh, tomes, golems, uh, and Omni materials, as well as summon tickets. Mm. Wow. Refresh yep. summon tickets. Nice. Yep, that's nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, moving on to the next update that we will be having, it's going to be a what, what's better than a free daily free summon. <laughs> so we are going to get the anniversary daily free summon, uh, which includes some of the seasonal unit as well, as you, can, you guys can see here. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can log in daily to redeem your free ticket and uh, you can op uh, you can get those uh, exclusive and uh, limited units. So, do uh, not do not uh, don't miss this uh, uh, logging in during the anniversary because a lot of uh, exciting things are like tokens, ticket that you can collect from the daily. All the itself. things, yeah. All uh, the things, a bunch of free things, mm -hmm. uh, you know, including free summons on the daily. I don't like, have any of the units featured on this slide, by yeah. the way. So having <laughs> one of them would be really nice. Hopefully, anniversary luck is on my side, but we'll see what happens. All right, so moving on to the next uh, content. Uh, um, still part of the seventh anniversary, which uh, mm -hmm. we are going to have these uh, uh, Shadow of Memories. So it's a, it's a battle with Kronos, and you can obtain Chaos Core Sphere in the normal mode, and you can uh, craft it to the li uh, Luminous Core Sphere in the hard mode. So, um, this name sounds familiar, especially for you guys who play the Grand Quest. So maybe I can uh, pass it to you, Shali, to introduce further about Kronos. Right, mm -hmm. so I mean, Kronos is uh, somebody who has already been in 
Brave Frontier for a while, Brave Frontier mm. Global specifically. Um, but if you guys can remember, um, a little while back, we found out that Kranos has both a dark and light mode, and obviously this would be mm -hmm. the light mode um, of Kranos. And Kranos is kind of encased in this metallic body that was actually made by Gazia. Um, when he was distilling the void from Draegar's mind. Mm -hmm. So he, he looks like you wouldn't recognize him if you didn't know that that was Kronos. Like, if, if, if people didn't tell you this is Kronos, you wouldn't even know who, who it was. He looks absolutely completely different. Mm -hmm. um, and we are going to be seeing more of him in the storyline for Grand Quest Global, obviously. Um, and you may even fight him as a boss in the Athens sphere. So um, watch out for that because I think he's going to make for a very challenging opponent. I mean, mm -hmm. just look how regal <laughs> he looks. Like he, he looks like he can take on the world. And I keep saying he, but I think Kronos is, you it's know, just kind of like thing. an essence, not necessarily, um, you know, a male character in itself. But um, I really enjoy how commanding he looks yep and uh it's so apocalyptic i don't know <laughs> mm -hmm. i don't know it yeah. looks it... like a very uh this this kind of like angel that will destroy everything <laughs> yes <laughs> yes power. agreed exactly exactly um if, if you were to ask me in real life hey do you want to team up to go beat Krana so we can save the world if you showed me this picture of him i'd be like nah i'm good <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i can win <laughs> It's just too yeah, intimidating. That's intimidating, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right, let's move hmm. on to uh, the next piece that is still connected to Kranos here. But... Yep, that's about the Grand Quest uh, X series. Mm -hmm. So that will be the final mm -hmm. episode of the uh, Grand Quest X7. So you can choose mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which side to um, to go with, with Kranos or Sergia. Um, mm -hmm. You can fight different final bosses uh, in on, on each path and you can obtain different sphere rewards based on your choice. Now, the thing is, the choice is permanent for now. <laughs> That's in, very interesting. It means that you can only choose one and there might be mm -hmm. some updates in the future to uh, well, allow you to choose uh, another path again. So, this is very interesting idea though. I mean, yes. like we never really explored this. And um, I hope you guys made the good choice. Or, I mean, if you are, if you are wondering like how, how is the other side, Mm -hmm. Doing, you can always get a friend who plays mm -hmm. together, and then you like you try path Kranos. I, you try the other one. I, uh, your friend will try Team Selja, and you try Team Kranos, and then you see how the story goes. You know, <laughs> uh, although yeah. it's a little bit difficult to meet your friend in this kind of um, time, but maybe you can share like a you know video call or something. <laughs> well, I mean, you can always message your yep. guildmates on Discord or something, and be like, I'm gonna go on Selja path and try to see how this fear works out for yeah. me. Uh, maybe another, you know, guild member is going to go for Kranos and then they're going to find out and, mm -hmm. you know, you, you can share back and forth and kind of give your opinion as to which pick was the best pick and why and kind of have that discussion amongst yourselves. But I very much enjoy the fact that the choices that you make here 100% matter because yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't really go back. Yep. Um, and on and undo it. So if, if this were a real world world scenario, like you only get the one chance, right? Like there is no uh, continues or <laughs> you uh, know no respawns yeah. in the there's real no world. Point so. the, uh, like save point, you can't use the save point to reload your exactly. <laughs> progress. So it's going to be interesting, and I think I think it will be interesting to see how players choose which team they want to join. It's so it's not so much of a team, but. I guess, I guess, yeah, this is the theme. Like, whether you side with Kranos or Selja to fight uh, different kind of bosses. <laughs> mm hmm yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I I'm very interested to see uh, the numbers at mm -hmm. the very end. Like, who's been picked the most. But... Right. All right. Well, do look forward to that. Moving on to another unit that's going to be making an appearance mm -hmm. during the anniversary here. We have Sheena. Uh, Sheena is a character that we have been hearing about through other units that we have presented from BF2 already. Mm -hmm. Now, Sheena is the girl with the relic gun. He mm -hmm. Here she is. Um, the reason why she has two relic guns in the picture that you guys are seeing on the slide is actually part of the story that mm -hmm. I don't want to ruin for you. <laughs> um, but basically, right. people are after Sheena because she has mm -hmm. a relic gun and people know how valuable it is. And mm -hmm. she's just fighting off the bad guys in the process to mm -hmm. protect um, her, 
her treasure. Yep, yep. Um, and then a lot of people kind of get involved. You know, the fighting nun gets involved. <laughs> the sheriff gets involved. Um, you know, we learned recently of Carlos. Carlos uh, is the boy who got kidnapped Experts, that yeah. um, helped Sheena um, cause a very big distraction. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I don't want to spoil any more uh, of the story. Uh, hopefully you guys get the unit and kind of piece all mm -hmm. the things together by reading into it. But I, I love how shiny her artwork is. She, she gave me a, a vibe of Rickle, you know? Yes. Yeah, but um, a more modern version, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you know what I was thinking, and I don't know that this is true. This, this is just my speculation as lore goddess. <laughs> uh, my, my theory is that these relic guns that somehow made it into the storyline mm -hmm. may be the ones that Rickle had yeah. um, in the past. And Rickle always had the two. But maybe at some point they got separated and one went the other way and then another went the other way. Mm -hmm. And that's why everybody kind of keeps trying to get them back together because they're a pair that's supposed to be mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So that's my theory, that it, it's those same guns. I have no proof of this theory, but um, I'm glad that you had the same instinct because yeah. I've been wondering <laughs> that myself, yeah. Well, well, I think Rickle is the gun, right? Rickle is the name yeah. of the gun, yes. But Rickle is the is the name of the actual gun, yep. but um, the unit who uses yep. the Rickles also calls herself Rickle, Rickle yep. after the guns. We don't actually know the real name. name, I believe, of the girl who wields the guns. Well, that's a very uh, nice theory, but I guess uh, we will see uh, maybe some someday. <laughs> yeah, the, someday. The story will be I think that would be a question for like, Takahashi-san, yep. you know, directly just be like, hey, are those the same guns? <laughs> we'll see. Or, or we could try maybe comparing right. the uh, visuals of the guns. But, you know, the visuals change a lot between mm -hmm. the series and also with the evolutions and stuff, of course, the guns are going to like level up and look different. So mm -hmm. um, I don't know that the visuals are like 100% foolproof when trying to prove a theory like that. Mm -hmm. but, but, you know, it's just the coincidence is... is too big, too, too big and it's... <laughs> you know this this pair of amazing guns that already exist in the original brave frontier and then this other amazing pair of guns that exist in brave frontier too you know like there's definitely a connection there somewhere right it's it's, it's fun making a conspiracy the theory so yeah yeah <laughs> why not <laughs> exactly uh, all, right, all right let me pass things back to you oh, okay so for the next slide we're going to have um, another content for seventh anniversary which is the memories in azure uh, mm -hmm. So, well, Taylor finally gets to go to the beach. <laughs> it's fun to yes. be there under the sun. And, you know, um, I guess just looking at this uh, uh, ex flavor, uh, sorry, the explanation, we, mm -hmm. we, we can kind of like uh, can anticipate that the, the story is going to be fun because, like, all the summer so. series you need to end with the beach, uh, with, with Taylor. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's more fun than the story itself is going to be you are going to get Ezra as a reward unit. I think this has been something that people have been asking for a while. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are going to go into more detail after this uh, slide, but uh, just last item on this uh, dungeon, which you will get the Wish Jar tokens and that you can exchange for um, uh, uh, exclusive event I'll give called Rainbow Bubble. So yeah, um, a lot of uh, interesting thing there. Uh, maybe I can pass to you, Shelly, for the unit. Right. So um, I am also mm -hmm. hoping that this event is very fun. The one with uh, Sunny and Chris was yep. really fun uh, <laughs> for last summer. So, uh, but this time around we get Ezra as a reward unit. So let's go take a look at Ezra. She looks like she's about to murder yep. <laughs> the entire world <laughs> all by herself. I mean, I don't know that we've ever had such... I mean, Ezra has always been a kick-ass character. We, uh -huh. we know this just based on, on her nature, uh, being such a popular character of the Anorak series as well. Um, but in, in, in this, I think this version is probably what would have happened to Ezra had she not been saved hmm. in the end of the story of the uh, Anorak saga. So had she not, I mean, she would probably would have been one of the most powerful uh, beings in the whole of... You know, the Brave Frontier universe. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, but that's the thing. That's the feeling that the visuals are giving me anyway. 
Um, but it's amazing that we get this as a reward, you know, to celebrate yeah. the anniversary totally free. You know, a mm -hmm. fan favorite. She looks amazing. Right, right. Very excited. Risky, any any thoughts? Uh, I think it's it's yeah like what you said that's this it looks really menacing and then like she's mm -hmm. going to destroy uh, destroy her enemies like, in mm -hmm. a swift manner uh, I, I like those two uh the double sorry the dual wield I, mean, I keep using that <laughs> <laughs> dual no, wield no, I mean, she's, she's dual wielding yeah, yeah. dual wielding yeah mm -hmm. uh that that I don't know I think that's is a one uh one sword from um uh one sword that is really uh uh, Are you saying they look like, familiar? Yeah, look familiar. Yeah, and the Pozans, perhaps. Pozans, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I was thinking the same thing. And then the other one looks very nice and sleek, like it belongs to a certain elven knight. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, I'm with you there. I'm with you. Very observant, Risky. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very impressed with you. <laughs> with your assessment. I'm yeah. going to be interesting what to see you i mean like uh, the story itself shouldn't uh, should should uh, ezra did i mean like we should we didn't manage to uh, rescue her on time uh, in time exactly. and what will happen to her and why are those two weapons with her <laughs> yeah wow. that's what i wanted i i hope nobody died in the in the making of this unit <laughs> <laughs> finger crossed <laughs> we'll have to see but she looks amazing mm. i definitely don't miss out on this chance to get Fan favorite Ezra. Right. She looks amazing. But, I mean, if we're going to talk about fan favorites, we have yeah. to talk about the ultimate fan favorite oh. unit slash character of all time. It is Tilly! Yes, wow. Yes, look at her. Could Beautiful. You, uh, uh, I have, I, I know that my job is to like describe her, uh -huh. but I, I have no words right now. Yep. Because I'm so excited. She looks absolutely beautiful in her beach outfit, Tilith. You finally got to go to the beach, girl. We're sorry we kept you waiting. You know, us as summoners, we have a pretty busy life fighting mm. evil every single day and going on quests and adventures to make sure that right. the world is safe. But we made it to the beach. You know, she's got the drinks mm. in hand. Looks like she's got a snack right. on the other hand. Yep. Um... And the color palette, yeah, it's just awesome. Is I I promise you, this is not an exaggeration. That like seventy percent of the things that are in my closet are that <laughs> color palette. <laughs> yeah, it it's iridescent, like neony, yep, pink, emerald, green, yeah. blue color. Yeah, that that's my jam. That's my jam. So wow. <laughs> I I have been saving up my gems for a while now, and I wasn't sure what. I was gonna use them on um and now here it is it, it it has come like perfect timing i am ready to go i am so excited i i i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna <laughs> let you say something in risky because i I, th I feel like i'm going over <laughs> uh, oh this is a perfect date so we should really save our gems and summon for her <laughs> yes and, and hopefully we can, we can get it we can get her <laughs> Yeah, we can get at least five more gems, which is at least one more summon and a summon ticket uh, mm -hmm. from the views right. from this video. Yep. So guys, please, you know, two extra summons could totally change the game. Like, you never know if all you need is one more summon to get that unit you've been hoping for. So I really need those gems and I really need that ticket. So mm -hmm. could you could you get all your friends to watch so we can get yeah. to 7k? Please? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Please, I need my Tilith. I'm sure that you feel the same way. You're probably mm -hmm. gushing over Tilith as much as I am right now. Exactly. Um, I mean, those those color palette is like uh, my favorite as well. So it's my dream come true. <laughs> it really right. is. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. So so look forward to Tilith coming during the seventh anniversary. Do mm -hmm. not miss out on this chance to get her because it is not every day that the global side gets to. Um, do a different take yep, on yep. a original Alem created uh, character or unit mm -hmm. in Brave Frontier. This is very special for a very special occasion. Obviously, right. don't miss out mm -hmm. on Miss Tillith. Right. She She's awesome. Yep. <laughs> okay, passing it back to you, Risky. I need to move okay. on. I need to move okay, on. Okay, so the last the last content we have for this anniversary will be the Vortex Arena Season Six, uh, the Minus Showdown. So, uh, as per usual, there will be adjustment of the daily and overall rank rewards. Um, the event bazaar of the uh, previous uh, 
season uh, will be added. Uh, sorry, the previous season's uh, reward will be added as well in the event bazaar. And uh, most importantly, is this alternate art of uh, Kelsa will be added. Mm -hmm. As you can see on the right, uh, it looks awesome. As what Shelly said, is like they get their own room. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm so serious. You can even see the tile floor. Yeah. Yeah, that's like her house. That's where she lives. Curiously, it's kind of shaped like an egg, if you notice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I noticed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love all the alternate art with, with the rooms yeah, with the in rooms. it. <laughs> Keep it coming. I love it. Absolutely. Well, so uh, I guess that's all the content for uh, this anniversary. So maybe we can uh, stick around for the next uh, section, which is the Summoner's Corner. Coming up soon. Coming up next. Hmm. And we're back with the Summoner's Corner where you guys ask the questions and Risky has the answers. Today we have a, one question from Mr. Storker, which is actually three questions, three questions in one. So um, <laughs> thank you very much for all these questions. I'm going to uh, summarize them really quickly. Uh, so number one here, Mr. Storko is wondering if we can get mystery frogs in the Merit Exchange shop. Um, because it's really hard to get them otherwise. So what say you to this, Risky? Uh, well, there is actually a plan to add it into the Merit Exchange Hall for this upcoming anniversary. So there you go, Mr. Starko. <laughs> Your wish is answered. Nice. Uh -huh. And uh, I think there's another question inside there about the Colosseum Loop stage, mm -hmm. which is uh, currently in, is in consideration and it might make it for the anniversary as well. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, All right, sorry. The, yeah, the question sorry. is kind of long. I thought yeah, I yeah, had yeah. The, uh, the, <laughs> the gist of it, but I might have missed something in between. But you, I hopefully you got your answer anyway, Mr. Stork. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so number two um, is that the Monster Spire has not really had a refresh on the enemies uh, available hmm. for a while now. So are, can we expect um, different enemies on the next Monster Spire or any Monster Spires to come? Uh, well, yeah, from the team uh, themselves, in the near future, there will be some minor updates to the Spire. So, uh, you can, can just stay tuned for the updates. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the last question here is, do we have any plans of updating the monster guides, which kind of serves as tips to beating certain um, monsters or bosses in the game? Uh, well, I guess uh, there, there were like some some places or some content where they, they really wanted to, to add the monster guides to help uh, players uh, on how to fight, uh, like to strategize. Uh, but mm -hmm. unfortunately, there is, no, there is no plan to add it for the future one at the moment. Uh, but I have been seeing players sharing the, the guides itself, like how they beat the, 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 the particular dungeon in, in, in Facebook uh, groups or in the Facebook post. So I guess uh, um, we'll, 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 we'll stick to the community for now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Well, uh, there you have it. Uh, that is all from yeah. us, Mr. Sorko. Hopefully that helped, you know, settle some of the questions that you had yeah. uh, sent to us via the comments. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do have one little bit more uh, info, piece of info, one little piece oh, of okay. info that's kind of uh, very important. So, um, Risky, do you want to do the honors or shall I? I guess I shall. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so all of the summon gates are going to be updated during oh. the anniversary, you guys. Oh, okay. Um, so this is a, you know a follow up from the last BNC where we had somebody um, you know asking whether a certain summon pool was going to be updated because you know they weren't really getting any useful units in, in the current meta. Um, but now we are going to get mm -hmm. better odds of them hopefully because all of the summon pools are getting updated that's my understanding so please be very hyped for that um, i'm very much looking forward to it myself would love some uh, newer units perhaps maybe not the same units that have been getting a repeat mm -hmm. uh, for the last few um you know months and i'm very much you know excited for this seventh anniversary mm -hmm. i feel like it you know it's such a huge um celebration uh and having you know a character such as tillith yep. Uh, being released in a unique form in the global version of the game just kind of really cements what a momentous occasion yeah, yeah, the seventh right. anniversary of Brave Frontier Global is. Mm -hmm. And I honestly cannot repeat this enough. Um, you guys, the players, the summoners out there, are the reason why we have been able to make it mm -hmm. as long 
as we Seven have years. why the game has thrived this long, why we have the community that we have that appreciates um, each other and helps each other out mm -hmm. by making, you know, monster guides of their own and, and other many other things that we do to um, watch out for one another because Brave Frontier is its own kind of family. And mm. just thank you. Thank you so much from the bottom of, of my heart. Uh, Risky, did you want to add anything else? I think you sum, you sum up every, everything perfectly. <laughs> thank you, Shari. Yeah, you're yeah, welcome. There, there will be more, uh, more reason for players to actually save uh, your gems and summon ticket for the for the updated summon uh, pool. So yep. yeah, uh, enjoy the anniversary. Uh, thank you everyone for the seventh anniversary for the togetherness for the seventh year. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Time to let you guys go. Yep. Hopefully you have a good anniversary and we'll see you around. Next. Bye guys. Bye bye. Happy anniversary.